In shock, this has gone too far, see what Zimbabweans have been caught doing. The common sentiment among South Africans is that they are sick and weary of Zimbabweans who come to their country to wreak havoc instead of seeking employment opportunities like other foreigners. Zimbabwean nationals continue to be sought after in South Africa, although they are no longer desired in other provinces due to their high rate of criminality. Apparently, a South African home affairs stamp was found on the heads of Zimbabweans, according to a Twitter tweet. According to the tweet, Zimbabweans are selling the South African Home Affairs stamp in Zimbabwe for foreigners to have a temporary passport to get entrance to South Africa for anyone wishing to visit South Africa. There are still unanswered questions about how a person might receive a South African stamp. That only indicates that an employee of the Department of Internal Affairs has assistants who are all committing the same crime while working on the case. The implications of this unfolding scandal are profound, not only for South Africa, but for the entire region. It underscores a deeper issue of governance, border security, and corruption that continues to plague both nations. If indeed Zimbabweans are exploiting a loophole in South Africa's immigration system, it reveals a dangerous vulnerability that calls for urgent and comprehensive reform. However, beyond the politics and finger-pointing, this crisis points to a larger humanitarian question— what drives people to such desperate measures? The economic and political instability in Zimbabwe, coupled with limited opportunities in South Africa, has created a breeding ground for exploitation and criminality. This is not just about crime, but about broken systems on both sides of the border. The question remains, will South African authorities address the root causes and crack down on corruption within their ranks, or will this be yet another scandal that fades away without real change? For now, both countries are left grappling with the consequences, and the clock is ticking for those in power to act before the situation spirals further out of control. The stakes are high, and the time for decisive action is now.